Hi everybody, this is Bit7 Weekly Crypto News Digest Briefly. Credit Karma has published the results of a survey conducted among crypto investors of the United States. The results of the survey show that as many as 53% of respondents are not going to declare their profits and losses from the turnover of virtual assets. Other 35% will not notify regulators that they bought the cryptocurrency for a higher price than they were able to sell, and 19% couldn't answer as they have not decided yet. It is remarkable that those who were able to earn on bitcoins are, after all, going to include information on profits in tax returns. 50% of surveyed, and only 38% of people suffered losses will do the same. Analysts of Credit Karma noted that the decision not to apply for tax deductions may not have the best effect on their financial situation. It is worth mentioning that as many as 58% of crypto investors did not know that they were entitled to deductions in case of losses. At the same time, 35% of respondents do not believe that they should notify the state about their investment success and failures. And more than half of those who decided not to include cryptocurrency into their declaration are sure that they did not lose that much to inform the state's authorities about it. Credit Karma also published information about unrealized losses from Bitcoin investments among Americans. The amount was impressive – $5.7 billion. Bitcoin network will exceed the size of payment giants in 2019. According to Antonio Pompiano, the volume of transactions in the Bitcoin network has reached the size of a sleeping giant, which is an outstanding fact in terms of technological development and finance. While many people criticize Bitcoin and question the development of the cryptocurrency market, as well as questioning regarding cryptocurrencies as a source of a certain value, no one can deny the fact that the advantages of cryptocurrency payments compared to the capacity of banking transactions and also that in the next three years payments with cryptocurrency will surpass a gens as Visa and Mastercard. The real potential of Bitcoin is in transactions network, which in 2018 surpassed the point of 410 billion US dollars and is predicted to increase at a rate of more than 3 billion per day during 2019. In accordance with the analysis, the income in the Bitcoin network will grow, despite the fact that at the moment the size of the payment networks of both competitors such as Mastercard and Visa are twice as large as the Bitcoin network. Binance falls Cryptopia hacker by freezing stolen crypto. Binance has frozen some of the funds that were stolen from the crypto exchange Cryptopia during the high-profile hack that occurred earlier this week. Zhao questions why attackers keep on sending the stolen funds to Binance, given that word quickly spreads and the crypto exchange is not shy about holding the flow of stolen funds. Cryptopia said in a tweet that the breach occurred on Monday. Based in New Zealand, Cryptopia said the hack caused it to suffer significant losses. The breach moved at least $2.4 million worth of Ethereum to several unknown wallets. Also, it moved roughly $1.2 million worth of centrality. Still, it's unclear who was behind the hack that resulted in the redistribution of the stolen funds from Binance and other exchanges. Some have even suggested that Cryptopia may have made the transfers for security reasons. CEO of major crypto exchange Kraken warns, please do not store crypto on any exchange. Jess Powell, the CEO of a major crypto exchange Kraken, warned users of digital assets to not store funds on trading platforms. The warning of Powell follows a high-profile security breach suffered by Cryptopia, a New Zealand-based crypto exchange known for its listing of a wide range of small coins. As Powell said, a more secure way of storing cryptocurrencies is in a hardware wallet of a non-custodial wallet that allows users to manage their own private keys. Please do not store more coins on an exchange, including Kraken FX, that you need to actively trade. Use Ledger or Tracer. DEXs are not a panacea. Look at the DAO. Open source just means exploits will be discovered sooner. Probably not by good guys, he noted. Some experts have argued that major centralized exchanges can be safer for casual or beginner crypto users because it is possible for new users to mismanage private keys and sensitive data. Centralized crypto exchanges are still vulnerable to security breaches and it is difficult to have all of the user funds insured by insurance companies. Binance plans to launch fiat exchanges in several jurisdictions. 
The block publication has gained access to the list of jurisdictions in which the largest cryptocurrency exchange Binance, in terms of trading volume, intends to launch fiat trading platforms. These platforms will use Binance technology, but will be separate legal entities. In 2019, the exchange allegedly intends to launch full-scale activities in Malta and in Singapore. At the same time, South Korea, Liechtenstein, Russia, Turkey and Argentina are also in the plans. Among the latest fundamental news for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general, it is worth mentioning BitMEX exchange stopping their operation in the United States and Canada. Reportedly, the exchange received a notification from a regulator that monitors the financial markets of Quebec, Canada, with instructions to stop working in the province. This letter came last year. At the moment, the US Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, did not comment on what was happening. Now it is known that BitMEX accounts in the United States are blocked. Thus, the regulator continues to make harder the working conditions for trading platforms that do not have all the necessary licenses. Most likely, this is only the beginning of the clearing of the market. Soon, residents of the United States will be able to buy Bitcoin in grocery stores. Such an opportunity will come from cooperation between CoinMe, Bitcoin's licensed ATM network, and CoinStar, Coin to Cash Converter. Both firms confirmed the partnership yesterday, and it turned out that the services would be initially available in certain Safeway or Alberstone stores located in Texas, California, and Washington. According to the press release, there are plans to extend this proposal to additional US markets after a successful launch. This partnership was created to enable consumers to access Bitcoin in a convenient and easy way. The goal is to overcome the barrier between the daily lives of people and a dynamic digital economy. That was Bit7 Crypto News Weekly Digest. See you next week. If you want to make money with crypto trading, try bit7.com. Link is below. Subscribe to our channel and like our video.